Boa. No matter where you are. Yeah. Have. So, out idea. Bring that. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome in. As I said in the first part, that will be on here. Uh, we are doing our first product review. So, as I said, we are doing the high gut double quartz explosion, explosion proof, shall I say, phrase that correctly, heater, which is the HG019. And we have the 300 watt. So these do come in the 75 watt, 150 watt, 300, the 500, the 800, and also the 1200 I will put in the on the video probably just in this little section right here a little list of all the different heaters and what capacity they actually will fill to so uh, yeah well let me just uh, have a little think I've got notes in front of me guys so if I do back blank I'm not I'm not ignoring your I'm just obviously making sure I get everything. So yeah, one of the most important information that you get with this heater before we switch over is obviously, you know, if you're going to do your water changes, anything like that, just switch the heater off 15 minutes before you do it. Just, you know, just let the, um, the ceramic, um, like the quartz, actually cool down a little bit before you then take it out. And the heater does come with a level alarm as well which i think personally is a great idea you know say so you're uh, you gone away and whatnot the alarm's going it cuts off heaven forbid you want that to happen but you know if you're getting evaporation because you've got high high temps because of either keeping certain fish i.e like you know the discus anything like that um, obviously you know this will be posted as well on the koi channel so you are not going to have a koi a, a koi grown tank at 30 plus degrees just not going to happen but in the marine world there are some species that like that higher climate so yeah I know with and guys let's flip you over and here we have the high heater so as you can see, I have already opened it, packed very well. I couldn't get the two suction cups back in the box. So uh, yeah, that's the two suction cups that come with the heater. And then obviously we go in, pop the box. And you've got this good layer of foam there, which is always handy. And there is the heater itself. So as I say, this is the HG019 300 watt from Hyga. So yeah, let's just pop her out, put on the angle. So you can see there the double quartz um, sleeve, not well, the actual heater element itself. It is quite a larger, larger one. It does weigh quite a bit, hence why they're giving you two heavy duty um suction cups so let me just stick that on top of the tank there so that will be going potentially into this tank right here obviously we've got to take the heater out of there that will go into another project and then this one will sit and we'll probably move that anubis around here and have that heater tucked down there out the way so the cable can run down one down there into the power socket. Uh, obviously, 
here is it's upside down just the plug there there is your setting so it goes from 20 degrees up to 34 and obviously you just press it to actually set the time I'm intriguing to see what it's like when we hook it up and as you can see in some of the images it does show it displaying the temperature on the heater itself so it'd be good to see where that's going to display uh, even the shows on the box that shows it shining up just there so yeah that's going to be interesting to see how that goes but let me just flip, flip backwards and forwards let me just set that up there Yes, as you guys can see, we've had a shave. But I thought this video, you know, I've been trying to get everything sorted out, making all the thumbnails and all of that, as I do for, will do for most of my videos. I'll be planning all the thumbnails for a lot longer than what I actually do for the video because that's what get, catches your eye. So, what have we got? From the control box to the plug, we've got about a metre. So, that's quite good. For those that are not fond of or used to dealing with metres, it's about three foot. And then from the actual heater to the controller, we're looking at again probably meter and a half so probably about four foot so yeah it's uh it's definitely got a good cable reach on it so that is definitely a tick from me because yeah you do get some heaters from other companies that the cables are too short you even get some filters where the, where the cables are too short and you can't even use that filter on the, on the tank that they're advertised for so yeah at the moment we have just got the standard light on that tank but at some point we would love to get a uh, a full spectrum this is, I say this is the dual Rio 125 tank but we're not doing a review on the tank or the lights we are doing a review on the heater so yeah, let me just go back. As I said before, package includes one double quartz heater, one pack of the suction cups. If you're using the 75 watt to 150 watt, if you're using the 300 and above, then you get the two. So that in itself is very handy. Obviously you get your little trusty uh, manual as well, but you can also go online as well to look up any specs if you if you find the font on the manual to be a little bit too small you can go onto their website and download the manual there where you can then zoom it on your phone so that again is in itself is a handy one so obviously the heater itself is submersible but please if you do use these keep these away from any any moisture because these parts themselves, they are not waterproof. And I'm just saying, it was part marked on the important one, so I'm making it important on the video. So yeah, we're going to go with, as I say, we've got the 300. So what we will do is probably move the Anubis over and get this one set in place to where it's gonna go so yeah guys and girls i'll be right back with you very shortly so yeah welcome back guys so i don't know if one so I've taken the old one out what i've actually done is i've left the old one in there for now just so there's not too much of a of a um a fluctuation drop while this one comes and gets up to temp and then later on tonight i will remove the old heater from it so let me flick you around so we are in 
at the moment we are sitting at 23.7 I have set it up for 24 obviously you know I've got my blue Acaravas the Garami and the Angel and then obviously the Albino Corridorus and also a bristle nose so fingers crossed I've set that up to the right temperature for them which is actually the temperature I thought it was actually in there I thought the actual the glass tube heaters actually set at 24 but for some reason it had obviously because of this one with the LCD display we don't actually I didn't actually know that we did we was not getting the actual um temperature in which we actually set the the actual the glass one on obviously these guys aren't too bothered by it obviously they've been ripping out their plants i think the carvers are trying to find somewhere to breed so yeah on that one let me just flick you back so you flick your back and my thumb goes and turns off the camera technology we gotta love it this called messages coming up but yeah so at the moment guys we have got that all set up obviously let me just come back round here pick up pick up the heat the controller so with the controller if you want to go down obviously you press down if you want to go up you press up simple as that it just shows you there it goes from 20 degrees up to 34 degrees so yeah that one is as simple to explain as you can get but what I will do I'll put it in again probably put a little listing in here just with like diagrams things like that just to give you guys more information in case you wish to pause the video and just take a little second just to read the individual sections which is why I've kind of done it down here at the fish like where the fish tank is because I get a nice little section here where we can put bits and information and things like that on there for you to see so therefore we can give you the best product review that we can give you at the moment but there's plans on uh, plans on foot where we'll be able to get more done so yeah on that one guys whether you're an old old subscriber or a new subscriber or even if you're a first timer and you and you're thinking about whether you should give us a subscribe i do appreciate you all for coming through checking out the video drop your comments below let me know how i've done for my first product with you and yeah again everyone thank you very much for helping me out um arnold king king's aquarium ant world don't forget to go over there guys he is getting close to his 700 so yeah give him a little shout out there because he was the one who actually helped me to get Heiger to actually contact us so as it's, this is a Heiger review it's more than fitting we put high we'll put that in there and also guys if you're interested in checking out any of the heaters there'll be a description to the website the facebook the instagram and also the amazon link as well down below in the description so yeah on that one guys i'll see you all soon take care